What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Chucky Season 2, Episode 1, Halloween 2. This episode starts right where Episode 8 from Season 1 left off with Tiffany Doll and Andy being held at gunpoint while he's driving that van of Chucky's. The Chucky dolls in the back of the van are arguing while Andy tries to keep and keep his eye on Tiffany, who yells at the dolls to keep to get back in their boxes before she comes back there. Andy then starts driving wildly, causing the Tiffany doll to fall and drop her gun. Andy picks the gun up and then shoots her head off. The Chucky dolls notice this and all come to life and out of their boxes to kill Andy. Andy decides to crash the van into a large cross while driving off a cliff, saying this is for Kyle. We're then shown Jake visiting Devin at his aunt's house to say goodbye. Jake and Devin's relationship is at risk because of Jake's new foster family he lives with and they are moving out of town. So he hasn't told them his foster family that being Jake hasn't told his foster family that he's gay either. So he doesn't kiss Devin, but decide to shake hands instead and say he loves him. Devin yells for Jake as he drives off and they stop to let Jake and Devin kiss well, they don't stop to let them because they just stop because they heard someone screaming Jake's name. His foster parents seem shocked when the two kiss, but Jake didn't care. He said, let them watch or something like that. We jump six months later to Salem, New Jersey. It's Halloween night, and it looks like Chucky is walking to a house trick-or-treating, but it's actually a little boy dressed as a clown. The, the house is, Jake, is Jake's, and Jake's, Jake gives the boy candy before he runs off. Jake is dressed as Batman and his foster brother Gary is dressed as Robin. Jake gets a call asking if Tam if Tamara is home from an unknown caller and he says no before hanging up. Devin calls and asks where he is because he was supposed to have a date. Devin is frustrated because Jake is the only one he can talk to about Chucky and Lexi has been AWOL. The same caller calls asking about Tamara and then harasses Jake even further. He assumes it's it's Ellis, a bully, but it's not them. A knock happens at the door, and no one is there when Jake checks. Devin calls at, Devin calls saying he got the same kind of call, and the caller is believed to be Chucky by them. They aren't sure if Andy is alive since the crash since the crash either, but his body was never recovered. A three-way video call happens, and they realize Lexi's sister Caroline is in danger. Lexi is distracted by a boy to care about their call their call attempts. Lexi has gotten further into drugs as well, it seems. The police bust in at Lexi's house because Devin called them over and Caroline said the ghost of Halloween past came in to use the restroom and Lexi believes it was Chucky after Caroline reveals how tall this ghost of past was. Lexi asks the cops to stay till her mom comes back. Caroline, Lexi, and the mayor, Michelle Cross, are shown at a therapy session. Caroline is being told Junior killed all those people at the Frankenstein screening and not the Chucky doll. Lexi is still not over Junior and remembers him fondly. The therapist pulls out the Wedding Bell doll, which is the Tiffany doll we met in Bride of Chucky. Caroline holds her for therapeutic reasons and is, allow and is allowed to take her home by the therapist, which I believe is also Aunt Bree's therapist from season one. Then we're shown the press at Lexi's house interviewing Michelle about her attempt to run for re-election and why she deserves votes right now. The press asks what happened to Chucky and if Belle tells tells Caroline to do weird things too because of her sick comments from last year about how Chucky told her to kill kill mom and you know stuff like that. We are then shown Lexi later at night telling Caroline never to trust any doll because they are all effed up. She ties down the Tiffany doll for protection and hands Caroline a butcher knife for protection as well. We are then shown Jake sneaking into Devin's room and the two kiss. Jake says they need to get Lexi because, because of the doll in the house. Jake sneaks to her house next with Devin. Lexi has chronic anxiety and is drowning it out with weed, but she's doing more than that. Devin says that this doll Caroline has is the Bride of Chucky from the Chucky Go Cycle movie, I guess, with Jennifer Tilly, who they know is the real Bride of Chucky outside of that movie. Michelle comes in, so Lexi hides Devin and Jake in Caroline's closet. They both sneak out, and the camera pans to Caroline waking up looking at the knife she sleeps with. Lexi, Devin, and Jake meet in the morning to discuss what's going on with Chucky since they haven't seen him in a while. Lexi ends up going to the bathroom to do drugs for her anxiety. Caroline answers the door at the answered the front door when his ring and it's Chucky who has convinced Gary to take him to the house via Uber. Devin and Jake notice Chucky downstairs with the kids and a bomb. He tells them to sit down. Chucky says he needed the three of them to get back together so he can kill them all at once for ruining his plans to take over the country. He's waiting for Lexi to come down so he can kill them all. Jake asks about Andy and Chucky says Andy is dead and Jake will see him and Kyle in heaven soon. 
Devin shocks Chucky before he can detonate the bomb. Gary picks the bomb, picks up the bomb, and runs into the kitchen before getting distracted by the Tiffany doll. Chucky leaps up and detonates the bomb, killing Gary in the process. Lexi, Dev, and Jake are at the therapist's office and are told they'll be sent to Incarnate Lord after this tragic incident or accident that caused Gary to die. On the ride to Incarnate, Devin realizes that since one doll sacrificed himself, that means more than one doll made it out of the crash alive, so Chucky will obviously just return for them. Lexi asks the boys if, if they remember Trevor Kane during the ride to Incarnate Lord, who was the bully that taught her everything she knew, someone who you'll learn more about in the coming two weeks. Upon arriving at the building, they realize that Incarnate Lord is Charles Lee Ray's old boys group home where we know he met Eddie Caputo and we saw some flashbacks in season one with this. And I know I saw some people actually piecing this together in a theory that I've seen going around on in the fandom. Uh, we then meet Sister Ruth who welcomes them and asks if they know why they are here. As they walk in, a delivery of a good guy doll has presumably arrived and the episode ends. Now, episode one, again, it's off to a good start by immediately just throwing us into the thick of things. We already know why these three end up at Incarnate Lord. We had our nod to Child's Play 2. You even have some aspects of it that are, in, I think, nodding to movies like The Strangers. And you're about to meet Tiffany. Tiffany, not meet, but you're going to see Tiffany next week. You're going to see uh nika i believe is in episode two but i'll continue to have my recaps up throughout the season like i did last year let me know what you guys thought about episode one down in the comment section below what was your favorite favorite moment how do you feel about lexi devin and jake and what do you think is going on at incarnate lord and why exactly this youth home that chucky used to be in got turned into this do you think there's a reason for that that we're going to find out later on and i'm asking a, leg a legitimate question because i don't even have that answer but again let me know that all down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video